Hey guys, David Fine here from Watch Your Lip. Welcome to the Fast Fish Beach Fishing Series. We are going to teach you all about how to become a successful beach fisherman. Been at it for 25 years, guys, and one of the best baits that we have found on the beaches in South Florida are fish in the Jiria Day family, sand perch, guys. Sand perch, Mahara, there's a lot of different names for them. Uh, guys, shiny, silver, hardy bait. They are great, snook, tarpon, all kinds of things, love them. So guys, let's get to it. Today we're talking about the sand perch, guys. The sand perch is a very hardy, lively bait that are very, very common in all of the beaches in South Florida. Uh, these fish have a really bizarre mouth and one of the coolest things about them is they have this protruding mouth and when they feed I think they actually use it to dig in the sand and maybe they eat sand fleas or, or some kind of other crustacean. Mojarra are very good to eat. They got a beautiful white meat. Um, you know they get you know up to almost a pound, pound and a half, some of the bigger ones and uh, they're, they're very good to eat but guys I very seldom eat them because I would much rather use them for bait because snook and tarpon love them, okay? They, uh, their scales are like a bright, bright mirror when, I mean, they, they reflect light like nobody's business and they are attention grabbing when they're dangling around on a hook. Uh, snook and tarpon go crazy. Some of the largest tarpon I've ever hooked in my life have been on a big, big Mahara sand perch, uh, which, whichever one you want to call them. Uh, guys, how do you catch Mahara? Well, uh, the big ones, uh, they eat crustaceans. So I use little tiny, like a guppy rig with little gold hooks and you tip them with little pieces of squid or shrimp, typically shrimp, and cast them out and you can actually catch some really nice Absolutely. big sand perch right on, the, right on the desert beach, guys. You don't even need reef or coral or rock or anything like that. They live around the beach. If you go snorkeling on the desert beaches, you're gonna see them swim by. And it's funny because you don't really, you don't see their bright, mirrory, shiny scales. They blend in really nicely with the sand. It's, it's very interesting how it works. But when they turn and you see that bright, silvery, shiny side, it's like, wow, how does that thing, how did I miss that? So you use little pieces of shrimp on little tiny gold hooks or even get a sabiki rig and you tip it with squid or shrimp. You throw it out in the sand. You're gonna catch sand perch. Have your rig ready. You know, they're a great hardy bait. You know, you can put them in a live well with an aerator. They'll live for a very, very long time. Uh, they're very, very thick, meaty, uh, muscular fish. So when you put your hook in, I like to hook them right underneath the dorsal fin and you can really whip them out hard. Uh, they don't fly off your hook like a pilchard or something like that. And you can really sing them out there to where the tarpon are on the other side of the sandbar. Great hardy bait. Guys, the, some of the smaller ones, if you want smaller baits, you know, fishing for snook or even snapper, mangrove snapper, by the way, love sand perch. Absolutely love them. So uh, there's a little trick that you can use to get them with a cast net. I'm gonna try and get some sand perch. Sand perch. Sand perch are the bait of choice for snook much of the time. So we're gonna come over here by the rocks. Not too close to the rocks, but we are gonna try and get some sand perch. See what happens. See if you kick up the dirt. Sand perch come and eat, well I don't know, they eat something. So what I'm doing right now is I'm kicking up the dirt And then what you do is back off a little bit, give it a few seconds. You got the option. Good, oh, there we go. There we go. Bait fish. That's what we're looking for. Sand perch. These stay on a lot better and they live a lot longer. Lorenzo, put one of these on. Here, let me show you what the deal is with sand perch. Okay, they stay on the hook a lot longer. Are they better to use? You hook them right in front of the dorsal fin, like that. Go, go. 
Sand perch are snook bait of choice. Oh, fish? Come on, baby. Easy. Easy on him, Sammy. Easy on him, Sammy. That's a good fish, man. If he starts to pull, <laughs> look at him jump. <laughs> Come on, man. If he starts to pull, let him go. All right, use the waves to bring him in. Use the waves. Look at that rod, dude. Beautiful fish. Beautiful Ooh, that fish. is a beautiful Hold fish, that. Sammy. Put your hand right here. Excellent, guys. Nice. Sammy, how do you feel with your first snook, man? Good. Yeah, tell him what, what's going on. What's that hole in his How's lip? It feel like? What's that hole in his lip? What happened there? Ah! A lot of people when they're swimming in South Florida feel the little fish pecking at their feet. Guys, those little fish that are pecking at their feet are sand perch. And what they're the reason they're doing that is because as you're stepping along in the sand, you're kicking up little tiny microscopic little animals that they eat. So you're really helping feed them and they're going around and they just bump into you by accident. They're not actually trying to eat your feet. But, uh, people get freaked out, but we use that to our advantage. So what we'll do is we'll go into very shallow water, maybe two feet or less and on the beach. And we'll just sit there and kick up the sand. We'll kick up the sand, we'll kick up the sand and we'll do that for a couple minutes. And then I'll take my cast net and I'll throw in the cloud of sand as it's being churned up and usually yields a great number of smaller sand perch, anywhere from two inches up to five or six inches. And those are the perfect snook baits. Uh, so guys, that's, that's it, man. Sand perch are where it's at. Great shiny bait, great to eat. The big ones are awesome to eat. Um, but you put a sand perch on your line, you're gonna hook up with a snook or tarpon, guaranteed. So guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, share us with your friends. Don't forget to comment down below what you'd like to see next. Uh, we'd love to help give you what you're looking for to help you more successful in your beach fishing endeavors. So guys, God bless, take care, watch your lip.